This journey we've been on shows what can happen when we all work together. What can happen when we all suspend disbelief, when we all unite around a collective dream. This journey began with the boldest of visions from the Oakview Group and Tim Liwicki. Preserve this historic roof and the 1962 World's Fair soul, and then build a brand new arena underneath. For a project like this, it has all of these different types of complexities. There's so many things that we've done here that we've never done before, and has never been done in the industry before. So, you know, there's no script on this. Because no one's ever attempted to try to do what we had to do. How are we gonna hold a 44 million pound roof up as we excavate 600,000 cubic yards? There were a lot of reputable, credible people that said you can't hold that roof up. It's not possible. So we had lots of 10, 12, 14 hour sessions with, with some key team members from Mortensen. Our goal is not to put it up and take it down 10 times to get it right. It's to really put this planning in place from the very beginning so that when we go out there, we can execute the work flawlessly. These solutions were not simple solutions. They were, they were very complicated in terms of how we're supporting the roof continually as we're excavating, how we're maintaining the bracing because of the seismic considerations. At any moment, that building might want to start moving sideways. The Mortensen team approach is always the art of the possible. At the end of the day, it's really about the people. Mortensen, the role that they play is they foster a culture that allows and attracts the best in the business and gives them the tools that they need to do their job to embrace the project and figure out how to get it built. The renovation and salvaging of the historic curtain wall was something that I think went overlooked actually on the project just because it went so smoothly. Martinson had to remove 999 sections of glass. We had the right people, the right subcontractors execute the work. We developed very detailed plans and we executed those plans and we had zero issues, which is pretty remarkable. The idea of going zero carbon, all electric, certainly a monumental challenge even at the outset of design for any project. We received that news when we were under construction. And that meant we had to switch during construction from having, a, you know, probably 20% of our power coming from natural gas and replacing that while we're going with all electric. It's like flying a plane while you're building it, right? A lot of the equipment we needed to find didn't exist at some of these scales or, or hadn't really been pushed to market or as a one-off and they had to go custom make an electric machine that was always made out of gas. I think at the end of the day, the reality that we had no delays to the overall project schedule and were able to remove all natural gas service from the building and incorporate new electrical gear and electrical systems to support the idea of an all-electric venue was phenomenal. This is where the industry should be. It isn't just this one building. Every arena should be doing this. And when the people come forward, and I was around them saying, no, you can't do that. The answer is yes, you can. The culture of Mortensen and what they bring to the work site is so positive and so impressive. We worked 2.7 million hours. 29% represented the minority workforce and 7% the female workforce. We exceeded the goals for priority workers with 17% at the journey level and 7% at the apprentice level. Mortensen and the support that they have brought to this community has been amazing. There were a lot of hours put towards education and supporting businesses to take them through, not only through the process, but to help them understand the certification and how they could elevate their business and their opportunities. This project was the ultimate. It was the challenge that you're always looking for. We like challenges at Mortensen. We're builders at heart. It was a whole team effort to figure all those solutions out. We have the right team members. We have the right culture. We have the right attitude. And we have the right leadership to deliver. I don't think we've, we've compromised anything on this job. We've had to believe in things that other people said weren't possible. Mortensen 
They're our second contractor. The first contractors threw their arms up in the air and said goodbye. It only can happen is because of these extremely talented builders got in their heads they were gonna pull it off and they weren't gonna be stopped.